participants say it's more aerobic than it looks, and the moves help really burn calories. With your Health Team 9 Health Watch, Americans spend more than 60% of their time in their home. If the goal is to make it earth friendly, don't forget it should also be allergy free and asthma friendly. Steve Weiss went to great lengths to use recycled materials in his home. There's a lot of talk about outgassing, a lot of talk about carpet, a lot of talk about paints, uh, a lot of talk about energy. He has recycled wood stairs, materials from old buildings, and locally made cabinets and cork floors. Older homes can be filled with pressed wood and formaldehyde-based fiberglass insulation. They can contain volatile organic compounds, or VOCS. Those materials cause nose and throat problems and can trigger allergies and asthma. There is one thing to remember. If you can smell it, it's probably not safe. The smell of a new car is not good for you. It's only the glue coming from the newly processed upholstery, floorboards, and ceiling. With the Health Team 9 Health Watch, I'm Dr. Linda McClintock, Bay News 9. More than 200,000 United States women will receive the news this year that they have breast cancer. Some of those patients will need their breasts removed. The reconstruction surgery that can follow could use an artificial implant or vital muscle tissue. For decades, the tissue has come from a muscle flap in the abdomen. A procedure called DEEP spares that muscle. It stands for Deep Inferior Epigastric Perforator Flap. Unlike traditional reconstructions, this more complex procedure removes nearby tissue to build the new breast. Keeping the muscle means shorter recovery time, and for many who have had the surgery, there is also an added benefit. They receive the benefits of a tummy tuck, reduced fat around the midsection. It was taking one part of my body to help out another part. That just, that sat right with me. I went under anesthesia with two breasts and I woke up with two and that really contributed a lot to me feeling back to normal. But not every woman is a candidate for DIP. The procedure can be nearly twice as long as traditional flap reconstruction and the full cost of the procedure is not always covered by insurance. With the Health Team 9 Health Watch, I'm Dr. Linda McClintock, Bay News 9. The sensation is called umami. It comes from the Japanese word for extremely yummy. You can find it in broth, stews, tomatoes, and fermented foods. The taste means amino acids are present. The acids are the blocks of protein. Some are more sensitive to it than others. Temple University has designed a simple test to measure umami and the other taste. The test uses something like commercial breath strips with a small amount of flavor on it. No two people are going to smell or taste the world the same way. And I'm interested in understanding what genes are involved in those processes and how they work. We have three places on our tongue that can affect the strength of umami taste. If scientists can better understand how we detect umami's amino acids, they could improve the taste of protein-rich dietary supplements. Research also shows that taste is truly different for each individual. Five percent of us cannot tell the difference between umami and salt. For many others, the umami flavor varied in intensity. With the Health Team 9 Health Watch, I'm Dr. Linda McClintock, Bay News 9. Sarah Bird is fighting lymphoma, a type of cancer that affects the immune system. But she doesn't want that to keep her from looking her best. Sarah Bird has a healthy glow. I don't want to look like I'm sick. I want to look good because when I look good, I, f I feel better. Sarah turned to a spray tan product, but she specifically wanted one that wouldn't expose her to chemicals. That's now possible thanks to a new organic tanning product. In addition to it being 100% natural, and USDA organic, anti-aging, it's also alcohol free, fragrance free, paraben free, cruelty free. The new products are often made with a variety of natural ingredients including aloe vera oils and rose water and may use ingredients such as tea to provide color. With the Health Team 9 Health Watch, I'm Dr. Linda McClintock. Bay News 9. When vision starts to go, even the slightest worsening may be immediately noticeable. To prevent problems with your eyes, watch what you put on your plate. 
Here are some foods that can really give your sight a boost. Cooked spinach is filled with a powerful antioxidant that helps protect against the retinal damage and the onset of cataracts. Oranges are rich in vitamin C, which helps support blood vessels in the eye. Peanuts prevent age-related macular degeneration. Kidney beans are full of zinc, a mineral vital to eye health. It also helps your night vision. And don't forget salmon. It has two types of omega-3 fatty acids, which are important when it comes to preventing eye diseases, sometimes including dry eye syndrome. What about all the talk about carrots? They are rich in vitamin A, which is an essential vitamin for good vision. But remember, vitamin A is also found in milk, cheese, egg yolk, and liver. These foods also benefit your entire body. With the Health Team 9 Health Watch, I'm Dr. Linda McClintock. Bay News 9. Four out of every thousand babies will suffer damage to their brain because they didn't get enough air when they were born. There used to be a few options to reduce the damage. Now doctors are using a blanket that cools a baby's body temperature. Cold water circulates through the blanket and reduces the baby's body temperature from 98 degrees to 91 degrees. For the treatment to be effective, most babies must be cooled within six hours of birth for three straight days. It's called therapeutic hyperthermia, and it helps protect the brain from further damage. It gives it uh, certainly time to rest. It reduces the energy requirement that it needs and allows time for healing. The cooling blanket has shown success reducing the death rate, risk and seizures, and cerebral palsy. It has also increased mental, motor, and vision scores. This treatment also is available for adults who have gone into cardiac arrest, giving the heart time to repair itself. With the Health Team 9 Health Watch, I'm Dr. Linda McClintock, Bay News 9.